Charles Chabert, urologist and director of the Prostate Clinic here on the Gold Coast. Uh, the following video is to provide you with some information with regards to the process of having a prostate biopsy. For the majority of people, a prostate biopsy is performed after an individual has had some type of imaging of the prostate, most commonly uh, that's with an MRI scan. The MRI scan gives us an image inside the prostate and it's on the basis of those images we make a risk assessment with regards to the potential for prostate cancer being present. Leading into that, the majority of men will have had a PSA test or, and or a digital examination of the prostate and it will be a suspicion on the basis of these two factors that leads a urologist to recommend having a, a, an MRI scan. So before the biopsy is performed, it's really important for you to let us know if you're taking any form of blood thinners. That can include medications like aspirin, Plavix, Xeralto, Effient. Uh, the majority of these need to be stopped prior to a biopsy. So please, if you're taking a blood thinner, let us know exactly what it is and we'll give you some guidance, perhaps in, in conjunction with your cardiologist uh, with regards to the timing of stopping that medication prior to you having a biopsy. The biopsy is done here at uh, Pundara Private Hospital. It's a type of day surgery and men are usually with us for around two to three hours. Uh, before the biopsy itself, everyone will have a urine test to make sure that there's no infection and you'll be given some advice with regards to the amount of time that you need to fast for prior to your biopsy. Usually that's around six hours of nothing to eat or drink before you have the procedure done. And the reason for that is the procedure is done under an anesthetic, so you're asleep for the duration. It usually takes us about 30 minutes to do the biopsy, and the biopsy we perform using a tool called the Artemis. Uh, in essence, it's a type of fusion uh, uh, device which allows us to overlay a previously obtained MRI or a PSMA scan image on top of a real-time ultrasound. And so the ultrasound probe is placed through the back passage that gives us an image of the prostate. The limitation with an ultrasound, however, is it cannot see a spot that we've seen on an MRI or a PSMA scan. And so this tool, the Artemis tool that we have, allows us to overlay those two, two images so that we know where a particular area of concern is and we can place a needle through the perineum or the skin between the back passage and the, um, the posterior or the back part of the scrotum. We pass a needle through there and we get a tissue, from, a tissue sample from the area of concern. After the biopsy, uh, you head around to recovery, you have a cup of tea and a sandwich and then uh, you can be collected and head home. You need to have someone uh, to come and collect you and you cannot drive for 24 hours after you have an anaesthetic. The turnaround time for results is usually pretty quick. It usually takes us around two to three days to get the results. These biopsies we do on a Tuesday afternoon usually and the results are obtained in the majority of people by around Friday lunchtime. I call everyone with the results and I'd let you know, firstly, is the biopsy positive or negative, i.e. do we have prostate cancer or not? If the biopsy is positive, we then get a number, which is the Gleason score. And the Gleason score really is our grading system that ranges from six through to 10 and gives us an idea of the aggressiveness or otherwise of an individual's disease. On the basis of that, we may make recommendations to have another test, the PSMA test, which really provides us with the final piece of the puzzle and confirms for us really that the disease that we've found is contained inside your prostate. So uh, I, I call men up usually on the Friday, let them know if the biopsy is positive or not. If it is positive, we proceed on with a PSMA scan and then we touch base in a week or two to have a discussion with regards if we need to do something and if we do what our treatment choices are. If the biopsy is negative, then the next step really is to repeat a PSA test, usually around six months after the biopsy. So some common side effects from a biopsy really include uh, seeing blood in different areas. In essence, you can see blood when you pee after a biopsy, you can see blood within your ejaculate, so when you have an orgasm, uh, the ejaculate fluid can be bright red. Uh, that's the thing that uh, the majority of men report back to me is the most alarming side effect. It doesn't harm anyone. It's just important for you to be aware that when you do ejaculate for the first time after surgery, it will be red and it tends to wash out a little bit like a bruise over several weeks after the biopsy. 
it's possible to see a touch of blood within the stool afterwards as well. It is now very, very rare to actually see an infection following this process. And the reason for that is about a decade ago, uh, back in 2010, here at the prostate clinic, we stopped doing transrectal biopsies, which is where the needle is placed through the bowel into the prostate. And as a result of that, uh, as I indicated, we have not seen an infection uh, since that time. So the most common uh, side effects really are some blood within the urine and the semen and stool, uh, but it's pretty well tolerated in the majority of people. So if you have any questions or queries before your prostate biopsy, please contact us here at the Prostate Clinic and we'll answer your questions before we proceed on. Thanks again.